Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to build, film, and edit a Domino screen link. I'll be showing you how to edit in Video Shop Filmora and Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm your host, Graham. Let's get into it. So first of all, what is a Domino screen link? A Domino screen link is where you link together different clips of Domino's falling to make it look continuous. And you may be thinking, what are some benefits of making a Domino screen link? Well, one, the viewer understands what's happening better because you can get closer angles. Two, you can add, take away, reorder all the clips you have to make it look better and please the audience. Three, you don't need as much room or as many dominoes because you're building in the same space and you can reuse the dominoes over and over in each clip. Lastly, you don't have to worry about fails because if something doesn't go as planned, you can always rebuild it and no one will ever know. Now let's get into building. First, you need to find a good place to build. The surface should be flat and you should be able to see the dominoes. Refrain from building near natural light because the lighting will change throughout the day and your transitions will look choppy. If you need more light, you can use a studio light, flashlight, lamp, whatever you need to where you and the camera can see the dominoes. If you do use a light, make sure it is not in frame and it casts zero shadows to make the shot look more clean. Also, try not to be in a noisy area because when you edit, it makes the sounds get cut off and it sounds kind of weird. Next, you're going to want to prop up your camera on a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, prop your camera or whatever device you're using to film on books or something to make sure the camera stays still. If the camera is moving, it takes away from the screen link effect. You may be wondering, why do we set up the camera before we make the domino setup? The reason for this is so you can look through the camera and mark the edges with tape or marker so you can see where you're building. If you don't do that and you set the camera afterwards, you're taking a risk that you won't be able to see everything in frame and I would hate for that to happen when you put all that work into making something nice. Once you've set the camera, check the background for any distractions like a lamp. If you leave the lamp in this shot, it'll look like you're building in the same place, therefore the video will look less fluent. Now you can let your creative juices flow and build whatever you want in that area we marked off earlier with tape or marker. Once you have done this, it comes to the most important step you are going to want to add 15 to 30 dominoes before the dominoes come in frame and after they leave frame to keep that transition smooth. Okay, now it's time to film. Check the camera one more time to make sure everything is in frame. When you go to knock it down, your hand should not be in frame because the 15 to 30 dominoes on either side of your creation. Those dominoes don't need to be in frame because we just want to hear them, not see them. The only time your hand should be in frame is in the very first clip where you start the whole chain reaction and the dominoes fall. Once you have all your clips filmed, you need to film one more thing. If you're editing in video shop, you do not need to do this. Only the people who are following along in editing in Filmora and Adobe need to do this. You're going to want to set up 20 to 40 dominoes and just get a good audio recording of them falling. You can get a video recording, but we're not going to be using the video, just the audio. That will come in handy later. Now it is time to edit. I'll be showing you how to edit in Video Shop, Filmora, and Adobe Premiere Pro. They all cost money and you'll need a computer to edit, except for Video Shop, which you can edit for free on your iPhone, Android, or iPad. Now, skip ahead to the time of the editing tutorial you would like to see. Just drag the little cursor at the bottom all the way to that time. Okay, now I'll be showing you how to edit in Video Shop. First thing you have to do is click the little plus button. Then you're going to click import. And then you're going to click on all your clips. It really doesn't matter what order you grab them in because we're going to end up moving them around anyways. So just click them, then click done. And I'm going to be using the clips from my Mother's Day screen link. Okay, so now that we have them in, we're going to reorder them the order we want it.
Okay, so now that I have mine in order, I'm going to go ahead and take, let's start on just clip three, for example, and you're going to trim this clip down until, not when the dominoes first come in frame, but when you first hear the 15 to 30 dominoes on either side, you should not hear domino start or stop. I click the check, and then there I go, and then I can do that to all the rest of my clips. Okay, so now I have officially trimmed all my clips, and when you click play, you should have a pretty good rough draft of what it should look like. And I'm going to show you a cool trick. So if you click on, make sure you're on the very last clip and click transition. Then you're going to click fade to black. And then you're not going to click the double check. You're going to click the singular check. And so then if we watch that back, whoops, if we watch that back. And it fades. So now we have our screen link complete. Um, so go ahead and skip to this time to watch the end of the video. Okay, so now I'll be showing you how to edit in Filmora. So after you import your clips, you're going to go ahead and drag them down here into the timeline. And then you're going to put the clips in the order you would like them to be in. So that's So now that I have these in order, you're going to go ahead and trim your clip. So this is the first clip, and then drag it back, and then cut. And so now I'm going to knock it down, and then stop it there, trim, delete. And so now the first clip is done. And now I'm going to go ahead and do this the rest of the clips, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have all my clips trimmed down, I'm going to go ahead and play it back. So those 15 to 30 dominoes really help make the audio blend, but if you notice between the first and second clip, you can kind of hear a pause. You see, you hear that pause. So this is when you might take that clip of 20 to 40 dominoes that we recorded the audio, and you would just lay it in between the two clips so you don't have any dead time and you hear dominoes always. So that would be a good use for that. In my case, I can just trim it down though, but in some cases you would have to use that overlay. So now I have it done, and go ahead to go to this time on the screen to watch the end of the video. Okay, so now I'll be showing you to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you have your clips imported, just go ahead and drag them over here to the timeline. And then I'm going to go to assembly. And now you have the clips. You're going to go ahead and make sure you have them in the order you would like them to be in. Which mine, it looks like they're already in the correct order. So the next thing I have to do is I have to trim all these clips down to where they start and stop. So this one starts here and I'll give you a tip. Control K trims it down and so if I watch this back and cut a little of that time off. And then I'll cut that right there before, before the audio stops, you want to cut it so it sounds more fluent. And then 
I still have this tiny clip here. Let me zoom in a little more. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest of these down. I'll go ahead and show you this first. And you see how it just stops there. You don't hear the dominoes actually stop. I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest down, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have the clips trimmed down. We can go ahead and watch it back. Okay, so that looks really good, except for if you notice between the first and second clip here, there's a little dead time. I'll play it back for you. You hear how it stops and then starts again? You don't want to have that in the screen link. So this would be a good time to use those 20 to 40 dominoes we recorded the audio of earlier, and then you would just lay that right here in between the clips. Um, Fortunately, in my case, I can just cut this down a little more, but in some cases, it is better to use it. In this one, it is not. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And until next month, 10 a.m., Grams out. <laughs> If you don't have a tripod prop, do